I swear to God, I'm never going to be able to make my video on the Switch. Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and here I was just about to film a video talking about my thoughts on the Switch. And I couldn't record one recently because I've been working so much at the winery. Plus, I have a girlfriend now and I'm spending a lot of time with her. So I go to sit down, I finally got my tripod back, and I set the light to get the mic and everything ready. I'm, I'm set to go, okay? And I'm like, you know what? I haven't checked the figure sites lately. So I go on my figure collection, and what do you know? We got some more figures that we need to talk about. These figures are not up for pre-order. I gotta do two separate videos about these figures, because one's from one series and one is from another. Well, technically, it's three from one series. But you get what I mean. We got two different series going on, so we're going to be talking about just one for now. And you can already tell by the title and the thumbnail and stuff. We're talking about Pokemon this time. So for the longest time, Tamashii Nations has been releasing Pokemon figures. Like, they have Mewtwo. They released Charizard twice. And then they did Venusaur, Blastoise, whatever. Now we got Lucario, Mega Blaziken. We got a bunch of Pokemon. We got Pikachu now, finally. But Pikachu looks kind of weird. I'm sorry that I seem super hyper. I just ate. I got a bunch of sugar in me. So, <laughs> uh, and plus I'm excited for figures. So, <laughs> yeah. Instead of getting new Pokemon, this time we're getting Pokemon trainers. The three that we are getting are Ash and Team Rocket for now. First up, let's talk about Ash. Now, Ash, apparently he might come with Pikachu. We don't really know much about, like, where this came from. Honestly, well, personally, I don't know where any of this shit came from. Some of you guys might know because I'm oblivious to this shit. But I check on my favorite collection. I'm like, oh, shit, it's Ash. Oh, God, I want this. And I hope that this is the Pikachu that comes to figure because the Pikachu that came out looks kind of weird. And plus, it will not look right next to regular Ash. So, whatever. What I really love is the fact that this is based on Kanto Ash or Johto. Like, it's based on the original Ash. It's not based on the new one. Well, should I say the even newer one that looks all fucking retarded. This is OG Ash for OG fans. So this is something that probably will sell. Will I pick this up? To be honest, probably not. I kind of want it, but I already have an Ash figure from back in the day. So if you're going to have OG Ash, you got to have him as an OG figure. Now, I already have a Pikachu figure to go alongside it, so I'll be okay. However, I really would love to review this figure. So, we'll see what happens. Now, let's talk about Jesse and James. Now, I'm going to be quite frank. These don't look right to me. I don't know if they're going to be coming in a set. I doubt they are because you see Meowth there. And I'm assuming he's going to come with one of the two. So, I don't know if we're going to be getting it with one or the other, or if it's going to be in a set. I hope it's in a set, but I doubt they're going to do that. The proportions for these figures do not look right to me. Like, they look fatter. Again, I have a Jesse and James figure from back in the day. I even have a Misty figure, too, somewhere. But, I don't have a Meowth figure. So, would I recommend these? Uh, I mean, the Ash one looks really great, but these Jesse and James... I'm not sure, to be quite honest. The proportions are really off when it comes to Team Rocket. However, they're probably well articulated. When it comes to the show, though, you don't know about, you know, the, the trainers doing, like, action-ass poses when they're telling their Pokemon to do shit. It's the Pokemon that are the spotlight of the show, at least when it comes to action dynamics. So technically, these figures don't need to be well that articulated. They don't have to be static figures, but yeah, they could be well articulated enough. I don't expect Ash and Team Rocket to do the Olympics while they're telling their Pokemon to do a scratch attack. That's pretty much all I gotta say about these things. Like, they, they look really great. Don't get me wrong. Well, at least Ash looks really great. Jesse and James, on the other hand, meh. But I, I'm probably not gonna pick these up. I don't have room. I don't have money for them. And I got some other things to focus on right now. But they do look really cool. I would love to do a review for these. But unfortunately, uh, I, I can't do that. <laughs> Unless someone sends them into my P.O. box. So let me know in the comments, are you picking these up? Because, uh, I can't. Also, let me know, what is your most fondest memory of the original Pokemon? That is, if some of you are old enough to watch the original Pokemon. A lot of my viewers are probably not old enough, but I remember I used to watch it all the time, and my mom would watch it with me sometimes, and so she got some favorite Pokemon, like her favorite is Psyduck, and I would also watch it with my cousin. My cousin had a bunch of the cassette tapes, and now I get the whole se series on DVD, and it's really great. That's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there are my social medias and my P.O. box if you want to send in stuff. I kind of want to start uh, uh, like a Mail Friday series. But I was going to check it like as of this recording, which is Thursday. But uh, I worked all day, so I couldn't check the mail. 
or I couldn't check my PO box. That's it for the video, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.